Using the Cuneo Launchpad Emulator Live Script, it's easy to make your Cuneo behave as a grid of 64 buttons for clip launching in Ableton Live. Cuneo also performs other functions available on the Launchpad, including session mode, mixer, panning, and send control. Select preset 9 on your Cuneo by pressing the blue mode button and pressing pad 9. The Cuneo Launchpad emulator is a remote script for Ableton Live that turns Cuneo into a 64-button clip launching and mixer grid, similar to Novation's Launchpad. In addition to Launchpad-like functionality, the non-pad sensors on Cuneo are mapped to control various other functions in Live. Let's take a look at how some of these functions work. The bottom most left right buttons allow you to move the red box left and right. The up down arrow buttons to the left of the long slider allow you to move the red box up and down. When in session mode, the pads on Cuneo are set to behave in grid mode, meaning each corner of each pad is its own button. This provides the user with 64 independent buttons for clip launching and mixer control. In session mode, these 64 buttons can be used to launch clips located inside of the 8x8 red box in live session view. When a clip is not playing, the corresponding corner of the Cuneo pad will light orange. When a clip is playing, the corresponding corner will light green. And when a clip is recording, the corresponding corner will light red. When the red box is moved using the up, down, or left, right buttons, the lights on Cuneo will update, providing you with visual navigation feedback. The non-pad sensors behave in the same way no matter which mode has been selected. These sensors are mapped to control various mixer and navigation functions in live. The top left right buttons adjust the master tempo. Pushing the top left button will decrease the tempo by 1 BPM while pushing the top right button increases the tempo by 1 BPM. The left button second from the top turns the metronome on and off. The right button second from the top toggles MIDI overdub between enabled and disabled. The left right button second from the bottom allow you to switch between selected tracks Doing this will not change the position of the red box. This allows the user to shift the focus of the selected track specific controls like the four horizontal sliders. As stated earlier, the bottom left right buttons move the red box left and right respectively. The up down buttons to the right of the long slider move the selected scene up and down. As stated earlier, the up-down buttons to the left of the long slider move the red box up and down. The rhombus button allows you to switch modes, much like the buttons on the top and sides of the launch pad. The transport buttons on Cuneo are mapped to the transport controls and live. The four horizontal sliders are mapped from bottom to top and control volume, pan, Send B and Send A of the selected track. The four vertical faders correspond to the volume sliders for the first four tracks within the red box in live session view. The rotaries remain unmapped and can be mapped to send notes, CCs for location or direction, and pressure messages. For information on how to customize the messages sent by the rotaries, see the rotary section of the editor tutorial. For information on how to map the rotaries using coma mode, see the coma mode tutorial. The long slider controls Live's crossfader. When using the Launchpad emulator, the pads on Cuneo can behave in six different modes. Session, Mixer, Volume, Pan, Send A, and Send B. These modes can be used to control varying aspects of Live's session window. When in session mode, the pads launch clips. When in mixer mode, each corner resets or toggles the varying functions in Live's mixer. When in volume mode, the pads are mapped to step the volume for each track up or down. When in pan mode, the pads pan the tracks.
When in Send A and B modes, the pad's control sends A and B. To switch between modes, hold the rhombus button. The bottom row of pads will light. Red represents the mode that is currently selected. Green represents a mode that is not being used. Mixer mode remaps the pads to the essential controls of Live's channel strips. In mixer mode, the pads have dedicated controls for record enable, solo, track activation, clip stop, send B snap to zero, send A snap to zero, pan snap to center, and volume snap to unity. Select mixer mode by pressing and holding the rhombus button, then pressing the bottom right corner of pad one. The 64 button grid is organized into vertical columns that correspond with each of the eight channel strips inside Live's red box. The topmost row of buttons sets the volume to unity or 0 dB. The next row of buttons sets the pan knob to center. The next two rows of buttons set Send A to zero, top of the pad, and set Send B to zero, bottom of the pad. The next row down is mapped to the Clip Stop button, and the row below that enables and disables the Track Activation button. The bottommost two rows of buttons correspond to the solo track button, top of the pad, and record enable, bottom of the pad. Volume mode turns the 8x8 grid into a set of eight sliders corresponding with each of the eight volume sliders inside the red box. Slider position is displayed by the red LEDs on Cuneo. Select volume mode by pressing and holding the rhombus button, then pressing the bottom left corner of pad 2. To change the volume of a track to maximum, press the top row of buttons. To change a track's volume to minimum, press the bottom row of buttons. The volume can be changed by sliding your finger up and down along the column of buttons or snap directly into position by pressing any of the buttons in the column. Pan mode turns the 8x8 grid into a set of 8 sliders corresponding with each of the 8 pan knobs inside the red box. Slider position is displayed by the red LEDs on Cuneo. Select pan mode by pressing and holding the rhombus button then pressing the bottom right corner of pad 2. To change the panning of a track to hard right, press the top row of buttons. To change the track's panning to hard left, press the bottom row of buttons. The pad can be changed by sliding your finger up and down along the column of buttons or snap directly into position by pressing any of the buttons in the column. Send mode functions by turning the 8x8 grid into a set of 8 sliders corresponding with each of the 8 send knobs inside the red box. There are two send modes to choose from, Send A mode and Send B mode. In Send A mode, the pads control Live Send A knob, and in Send B mode, the pads control Live Send B knob. Other than this distinction, the Send A and Send B modes function identically. The knob position is displayed by the red LEDs on Cuneo. Select Send Mode A by pressing and holding the rhombus button, then pressing the bottom left corner of pad 3. Select Send Mode B by pressing and holding the rhombus button, then pressing the bottom right corner of pad 3. To change the send amount of a track to maximum, press the top row of buttons. To change the send amount to minimum, press the bottom row of buttons. The send amount can be changed by sliding your finger up and down along a column of buttons or snap directly into position by pressing any of the buttons in the column. 